What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Legends Breakdown video. Today we have the highly anticipated Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black getting his Zenkai Awakening. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited about this guy. I uh, haven't seen what his kit looked like. I don't know what to expect uh, from this guy. I'm really hoping he's good because God Key really needs a red unit. And uh, this, this Rose was really good back in the day. So very excited to see. And there's a plethora of other stuff that came out too. But we're going to go over what this guy's kit looks like as well as all the events that came out so if you guys want to see more like this please like and subscribe let me know down below in the comments what you guys think and let's dive in so rose this guy came out alongside the super saiyan blue uh ella vachita and both these units were really really good back when they came out so uh here's hoping but all right, so before Zenkai, stat-wise, obviously he was very stacking or very lacking in the stat department. Uh, both of his defenses were pretty high up, uh, 180, almost 180. Uh, his attacks were uh, about 270 and 267, roughly. After Zenkai, okay, he gets about 2,000 to his defenses, which isn't the worst. Um, and then his attack is still pretty underwhelming from what it looks like. 272 and uh, 275 respectively. Almost 3 million in health though, which is not bad. So um, we'll have to see if there's something in his kit that makes that makes up for that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's Zenkai. It happens. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Had to go take care of something real quick. Uh, so at base, he drew his ultimate card. Destroys his own health by 20, and then nullified own element factors by 30. Now he just gains 30 key. That's fine. I don't think I don't think that's the worst thing that they could have done. Um, getting key on main is always a beneficial thing. So, all right. So his first ability, Rose Code Super Saiyan. Apply the following effects to self based on own remaining health when this character enters the battlefield. If he had more than 75, he gets 30. 30% uh, of damage inflicted for 15 counts. Increases art draw speed by one level for 15 counts. Um, if it's below 75, he restores key by 30. 45% of damage inflicted and increases art draw speed by one. On Zenkai, he restores key by 20. And that's all they added. Right? Yeah, that was all they added for that. They just re restore key by 20 uh, when he has more than 75% health. Okay. Um, still, I mean, obviously this guy needed key restoration in, so in some capacity, so I'm all fine for more key, but... Uh, I mean, it is what it is, I guess, right? Um, yeah. All right, inflict all enemies without to be downgrade. Plus 10% of damage received from God Key, future, uh, three times when battle begins. And the following effects occur when this character evades enemy attack with a vanishing step. Randomly destroys one enemy card, reduces th reduces Nexus damage by 30%. Uh, this applies until the enemy combo is finished. This is now... So they add the powerful opponent tag. They don't change the damage received. And it's now 40% instead of 30%. Okay. Mm. I'm really not liking how, he's, how they built this guy. Like, they did the bare minimum, it looks like. Um, so let me see. Following effects occur... So, for uh, Zenkai 3, the following effects occur when you switch to standby. Ally, restores ally key by 20. Uh, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 5 to all arts. And uh, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade minus 50% to health recovery for 10. I mean, the plus 5 arts in the health recovery is... In the health recovery is good disruption. Getting key once on switch out is not the worst thing. But why the short amount of counts? You did nothing up here really to him. And adding powerful opponent to this tag here and increasing his reduction by damage reduction by 40 per, by 
like that really doesn't add much to what he what he has like it's it's really not like there's no reason that this, these counts need to be as low as they are I don't know um, again it's good disruption but it's it's way too I mean it's whenever I guess he switches out to standby so I mean this happens every single time but it's still it's still underwhelming and then Zenkai 6 applies the following effects to self when battle starts plus 30% to strike damage inflicted why strike damage just do regular damage just damage received by 20% and 40% to key recovery Alright, it's I mean it's not it's not terrible. It's just people a lot of people have asked for the Zenkai. And the fact that they really did not approach this guy with the utmost care. Like they, they brought out a fan favorite. And <laughs> and he's like, he's very underwhelming from what from what we saw here. I don't know. I think they could have done more. Like, this could have been normal damage inflicted instead of strike damage. I hate that they limited it to strike damage. Um, I mean, the extra 20% of the damage reduction is fine to, on top of the 40% here. Um, but at the same time, too, like, it's... <laughs> at the same time, too, like, if people know this person's kit... Like, they can easily, like, stop their combo and, like, minimize the amount of damage on this. So, like, again, it's just a really, not really well designed, in my opinion. Uh, special move. Deals massive explode damage. So, let me see. And restores own vanish gauge by 40 on hit. And that is now 60 on hit with 100% chance to inflict strong bleed. I mean that's a decent upgrade. That that's not that's not the worst thing. Uh, green card, 20% to strike damage inflicted for 20 counts, minus five to own strike and blast arts cost for 15 counts, and that is now. Okay, so that's now. So why did they switch it from damage from strike damage to damage inflicted here, but they didn't put it in his uh, in his fourth unique? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's that. They basically what they did. What they did was they took the strike damage and they brought it up here and they just added ten percent. <laughs> That's all they did, and then they just changed this to. I mean, twenty counts is good though. Twenty counts is a good amount of time. And obviously, and obviously the uh, minus five to own strike and blast arts cost. It's pretty good. So. And then God Palm Slicer of Ashes. Um, so that was massive impact damage. And then 50% to ultimate damage for three counts. That is now. It was massive impact damage. Applies the following effects on activation. 50% to ultimate damage inflicted. And then restores. And then he nullifies endurance. Uh, for three time counts. Okay, I mean that. I mean that's a decent upgrade, obviously. Uh, endur uh, endurance nullification, revival nullification. Those are pretty good abilities uh, in this meta right now. So can't complain about that. Uh, but red and powerful opponent. What? I mean, Z ability is still pretty pretty decent. Still pretty good. But powerful opponent? Like if we look at the powerful opponent tag, like okay, you got Omega Shenron. But you're not going to run you're not really gonna run Omega Shenron on powerful opponent because he thrives on GT. So uh, you're not <laughs> you're not really gonna see that. I mean this Vegeta's still this Vegeta is still pretty good. Um, this fusion Zamasu could probably use a Zen, uh, could probably use a Zenkai bo boost, so that's not bad. This Bojack is still pretty good. So, I mean, I guess in terms of the kit itself, in terms of the kit itself, like uh, or the uh, what he's buffing for his Zenkai, um, it's not the worst. Um, I don't think does 
Does power does powerful opponent have a red buffer? I mean metal cooler, but I think metal cooler is LOE. Perfect form cell, I think, is uh, Android. Rolly Fury, I think, is Saiyan, right? I mean, there's a couple. There's a couple red Zenkais, but I don't think there's one specific. I do not think there's one specifically for. Let me see here. I just want to look real quick. I want to confirm. I don't want to make sure I'm wrong on that. On Zenkai. Yeah, he's Lineage of Evil. Man, DBZ Space is actually loading pretty slow today. <laughs> Not 100% sure why. Yeah, Cell is regen. Or is Broly... Is Broly sagas? I think Broly is movies. Yeah, he's sagas for the movies, so... Yeah, uh, so this is the first red powerful opponent buffer, so I mean, I guess it's fine if you want to run them on powerful opponent. But the problem being is that God Key, kinda, kinda, God Key needs a red unit. God Key 100% needs a red unit. Um, Future probably could use a red unit. Because the only red units that Future has is this Corrupted Future and Samasu and uh, Kung Fu Mai, I think. And that's really it. So. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I was really hoping for more from this rosé, but, I mean, I guess it is what it is. And it's a free Zenkai, so I guess you can't really complain too much, but at the same time, it's like, it's like, people ask for this, and, like, people expected more, so. I think you should, I think you, uh... I think you dropped the gun on this one here, Legends. I think this one is, uh, this is a very poor example, sadly. Alright, in terms of events. Uh, new hyperdimensional co-op with full power Jiren. That one is probably going to be a very tough, extreme difficulty co-op boss. So, uh, make sure you, if you have the boost unit, the top boost unit, you make sure you send him in for that co-op. Um, obviously the Supreme Showdown, Realm of the Gods events are still going on. Uh, you got the Battle Gauntlet with Rosé, obviously, free Chrono Crystals, uh, 3,000 Awakening Z Power, plus his missions, and obviously his missions are uh, tied to, uh, you know, they're, they're tied to, you know, using probably future, using God Key units, um, getting him up to uh, Friendship Level 5, stuff like that, so, um, so yeah, make sure you grind that up. Uh, ultimate equipment is uh, nothing new, but uh, the Universe Survival Saga and the Future Trunk Saga equipments are back. So if you don't have a red slot in that first slot, uh, and you need a or you need a couple uh, extras, feel more than free to grind this up. Both are pretty good equipments. So uh, they announced this 60 million users worldwide banner, and uh, it's pretty neat. Because it's five, you can do it five times, and you are guaranteed, and you're guaranteed a Legends Limited. Um, it's a thousand, it's ten characters. You pay a thousand Chrono Crystals per step, and then you got this. Is, I think this is the is this the first time that this Vegeta came back? It may not be the first time, but it's definitely the first time that I noticed that it came back. So you got this Vegeta, you got LF. Full power Frieza. You got this Gohan. This Gohan's back for the first time, I think. So that's good. Um, you got the Gogeta here. Um, this, Go this Goku is not half bad anymore. Um, Kid Buu probably needs some love. The Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, it's basically every relatively modern LF. And every Zenkai LF. So... Well, maybe not every Zenkai LF, but close enough. So, I mean, the LF pull rate, you got what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. You got 20 LFs on here. So it's a bit full. And then if you look at the rest, 
The sparking rate is basically every single sparking. It's every sparking. Uh, but I mean, hey, you got the Bardock, you got the Bardock EXs back, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, it's not a decent banner. Um, I probably would advise people not to summon on this, just because. Uh, if they're dropping something like this, it means that we're going to be getting something pretty crazy soon. Um, could very well be bait for the anniversary, even though the anniversary is not for like another two months. Um, so, it really just depends on what you want to do. I mean, if you want to summon on it, I'm not going to hold it against you. But I would say save your Chrono Crystals for something a little more... If they if they if you got like LFZ power for multi or something, or if you got like on the last step you got like the 100 LFZ power, I wouldn't think it's a bad thing to summon on this. But uh, yeah, I uh, I probably wouldn't advise you to do it. And then last but not least, we got this new uh, equipment. It is for Universe Survival Saga, and it is 15% to base key recovery. Uh, 10% to special move damage, base health to uh, 10%. Um, not a bad equipment. Uh, I just, I, I just think that you know, um, I think that I mean 10% could add up a little bit. 10% to special move damage is like nothing. <laughs> it's like nothing. And then 15% uh, to key recovery is okay too. So. Um, I mean, if you're if you're lacking the Universe Survival Saga equipment and you need more equipment for this tag, then I guess you can go ahead and grind one or two of these up if you need to. But um, honestly, I don't think it's really anything special. Uh, there's other equipments out there I think that are better. Um, so, but that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, yeah, this is uh, a very disappointing Zenkai release. Uh, I'm a little upset. Um, not sure if I'm going to do a showcase on this specifically. I was thinking about it, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to, if he's this, you know, if he's not this good. I'd probably advise, if you want to know how he is in battle and stuff, probably go check out someone like Goresh or D-Free or Ryudin or any of the other Legends guys that does content. Um, they'd make good content, so I would definitely advise you guys go to check those showcases out if you want to see how this guy runs with his Zenkai. But me personally, I'm not going to do it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, also, I will also be releasing that video for the new battle mode, and I will be giving some tips and tricks to uh, those who are having trouble with it. Uh, that video should be going up, if not later today, then tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. But with that said, uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I appreciate the love and support. Like, like and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.